Hi again. Okay, I'm measuring 10 to 11 knots right now. Poof. Usually I would say my big boy wing, nine square meters, but I think it might pick up a little bit later on. I think I'm gonna risk it and go with the six meter. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the water. Against all odds, that ended up being a really fun session. First, I went out with the six meter and like first run, powered up, was, was, I thought, wow, great choice. This was good. You know, the wind had picked up a little bit, the sky cleared up, which is usually what we need here to have constant wind. You know, as soon as there's clouds, then you never know what's gonna happen, but it went up and down and up and down, being more, more of a pump fest. Than, than fun to be honest. I went out with a big wing, maybe like half an hour or so, had pretty perfect conditions for the big wing. It was super nice. I was connecting almost every jibe. The thing was this extra power of the big wing really helped me. Like, you know, whenever there's any kind of imperfection in the jibe or you touch down a little bit or you lose some speed, the extra power from the big wing <laughs> just gets you over the hump and you know, you're, you're, you're back up on on foil. Um, one not so fun thing is, well, here at the beach, I don't know if you see it in the background, there are some people fishing with their fishing rods. I did my jibes, I would say about 80 meters or so from shore, and this one fisher guy, well, apparently for his taste that was too close, and he started just cussing at me and like saying some really nasty words out there. Later, the, in, the wind completely died down. Of course, it dies down exactly when I'm the far, farthest away from shore. <laughs> uh, Murphy's law for wing foiling. And I just had to sit on my board uh, with the wing up and just, you know, slowly drift back towards shore. Like I couldn't even stand up, it was too hard. I came to shore and did my little walk of shame back to the car. And then this other fisher guy, he, uh, he came up to me and asked me if everything was all right. You know, he saw me drifting and if, if my gear was broken or something. I was like, no, no, it's all good. So he was like genuinely concerned and just a nice guy. So, you know, you get a bit of everything. <laughs> Some people are really nice, others not so much. <clears throat> and yeah, we have the new perspective with the helmet cam today. Um, I hope you like it. Let me, let me know what you think about it. I hope you enjoyed it. 
If so, please do leave me a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.